This is nine on your side. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for waking up with us on this beautiful Saturday. I'm Mario Ramirez. And I'm Chuck Gillespie. Happy Labor Day weekend to you, partner. Yes, and you as well. It's a, we always say it's a big weekend, but this it's really a happened big, this, we're not kidding this to time. be a big weekend. Yeah, this a is a big week and so many plans and so much responsibility for the weather guy. For you, yeah. Because yeah. If, if it rains, yeah, we don't want to show our it? face. Not mine, it's, it's, it's yours. It's completely yeah. our fault. Well, let's take a peek at what's happening now with our nine first morning weather. Good Saturday morning to you. Maybe you started it last night with some fun, more fun hopefully today. And this holiday weekend, today might be the best day. Fun in the sun day. Don't forget your sunscreen day. Very summery conditions. Temperatures will hit the 80s today, the upper 80s, I should say, and we'll see a lot of sunshine. So enjoy it. But, yeah, there's rain. Looks like a rainy Sunday. In fact, we could see the rain coming in tonight late overnight and then rain throughout the day tomorrow. But the rain may ease for fireworks tomorrow night, we hope. And then it may ease through the day on Monday. Let's look at that rain. It's back in Indiana. We do have an area of high pressure that should keep us dry through the day. And as this approaches eastward, a lot of it's falling apart. It's, it's not going to hit the ground. It's going to dry up in the atmosphere. But those showers, and we've seen this set up before, will be there today. But late tonight, overnight, they will probably come a calling. Labor Day weekend, so important to all of us. So many memories of, of work and the different places we've worked and all we do as a nation. Let's look at what conditions will be like today. The night rain will come in, but we're seeing a temperature topping out at 88 degrees. For tomorrow, off and on rain, mainly early, and then potentially late again. Will there be a window for the big show? Well, we'll talk about that. And then for Monday, a 30% chance of storms for Labor Day. Hot, summery, the perfect conditions for this kind of weekend. We'll have our complete forecast and look at next week when we go back to work. Our labors will continue after, uh, after just a couple minutes. Mario? Chuck, thanks. A vicious dog attack for a six-year-old. That child now in the hospital. She is expected to be okay, but not after a scary moment in Sharonville. She has scratches and puncture wounds to the left side of her face. The attack happened last night. The little girl was taken to Children's Hospital. Police say the dog is about 40 pounds, a mixed breed, and belongs to the couple who owns the home on Indian Walk Drive. That's in Sharonville, right off Fields, Ertle, and north of 275. Neighbors there say the girl didn't live at the home and was just visiting. They describe the dog as a guard dog and not really threatening. That girl's injuries are non-life threatening, so good news there. Meantime, police say a fight between two teens could have ended much worse. Before surrendering last night, police say a 14-year-old opened fire in the parking lot of a family dollar store on Hamilton Avenue. Chopper 9 was able to cover the scene from the sky in this exclusive footage. We're told the 15-year-old involved will recover. Police say the two teens had been fighting for about a week. Right now, police are trying to find the man they say who may have killed a two-year-old boy. Police charged Amond Rainey with the murder in uh, the two-year-old's death, Josiah Eves. Police knew something wasn't right when the toddler first arrived at Children's Hospital. Doctors were told he had fallen, but they say his injuries looked like they came from something else. If you can help police, call Crime Stoppers. The number is 513-352-3040. Later this morning, a tri-state restaurant is scheduled to open its doors after the state shut it down earlier this week. Nine on Your Side reporter Shannon Kettler is live at Mahogany's at the Banks with what we're learning this morning. Well, Mario, the owner of Mahogany's tells us this restaurant will reopen its doors later this morning at 11 o'clock. This after the state of Ohio shut it down earlier this week for not paying sales taxes. We're told those taxes have now been paid. This was the latest in a series of money problems for the restaurant. It's also fallen behind on rent, city loan payments, and workers' compensation premiums. Mahogany's was threatened with eviction back in February when it fell more than 50000 thousand dollars behind in rent. The owner, Liz Rogers, managed to keep the restaurant open by avoiding deadlines and gaining extensions. So this morning, we'll start another chapter for this restaurant. Again, the owner telling us that these doors will open at 11 o'clock for business. Reporting live here at the Banks, I'm Shannon Kettler, 9 on your side. 
Shannon, thank you. If you haven't heard, Riverfest is tomorrow, and this year the festival will go retro with some throwbacks to the 80s. But of course, it'll include Rossi's famous fireworks, this time to an 80s soundtrack. All of the fun tomorrow kicks off at noon with the cardboard boat race. The Rubber Duck Brigada is at 3. The fireworks show at 9.05 on the dot. We are on your side with the complete schedule right now. Just head over to WCPO.com for a look at that. We also have tips for where to park and enjoy the fun. The cost of interviewing, how much the U.S. is paying to monitor the situation in Iraq. Plus, trapped in a mine, how many miners crews were able to rescue and how many are still left behind this morning.